sitting here today right beside one of the most expensive dumbbells on the market today. Are they worth it? In a previous video, I showed you guys that I got these dumbbells. I told you why I got them and I told you my goals. And I said that I would put them to the test, review them, and tell you guys my opinion. I know we're a couple of months later, but here it is. Let's get into some comments. So straight to the point, some, some always smash the link. Um, okay, for real, first type of comment. The price, man. The, the price is way too high. Oh boy, the price. Either what is this price? You're lying. What the is this price like I, I I must agree because as it turned out somewhere else in the world probably America I'm pretty sure it was America in the US they're also 10 years old apparently here they're I don't know if they're new probably not then but uh but they sell them at Walmart <laughs> and the price difference it's insane the biggest factor here probably is mass production and stores especially Walmart buying it in great quantities which allows them to sell it for a lot less so I can only but agree with those who say it, it's a lot. Because compared to your price in your Walmart, it is a lot. However, there's only a little thing. Don't get me wrong, I love making these videos. But don't get me wrong, am I going to say it? There are so many fucking out there in this industry, in the, the fitness industry. And so many awesome people out there who are helping each other, making videos for others free to help them. For real, a lot of great people out there helping each other, having a great mind, giving people tips. It's uh, it's awesome. Because this industry has grown so big, they're also, you, 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 you gotta have them, but there's so many in this industry. And I just feel that they came together, all together, in the comment section and in this video. I don't know. Also a lot of great people out there. The majority, the vast majority of the people out there are great people helping each other. It's, it's awesome to see. But certain comments, second type of comments, just a, li a little thing to mention about the price and the amount of kilograms. These are the 24 kilogram ones. And as I said in the video and also showed in the video, they're also around 40 kilogram ones. Those, the 40 plus kilogram ones, are related to the highest price from the previous video. And the price. So. What is the price of these dumbbells? The dumbbells from the store, that price is sitting just below 800 euros. That equals to $990. I went with his little brother. The price of this one is just sitting below 500 euros. And that equals to $620. And just the comments about 24 kilograms not being enough per dumbbell. Oh. The, that's seriously the group of people I'm talking about in the beginning. So many awesome people in this industry and also so many dicks. I'm a, I'm a dick. Yeah, where can you use 24 kilograms for, right? You can better throw this away. What is seriously going on in your head? 24 kilograms for shoulder raises or curls or French presses? I don't even know, maybe. And maybe you do. And also, most importantly, like I said in the video, I injured my shoulder, and in order to recover, you need to use the muscle. Most of the body weight movements are compound movements, which means that in order to perform the exercise, you need to use a lot of muscles. That's really important and good too. Though, also focus on one muscle with light weight. That's the first reason, this too. First reason, post-injury stuff. I was injured at that time. Calisthenics is basically compound movements. Uh, hey, by the way, um, also a comment. Who, uh, who, who are you? Multiple of people. Uh, who, who are you? Like, uh, what the fuck? You're not the Hulk. Why are you reviewing deep dumbbells? Deep dumbbells. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my name is Brownie, I do some calisthenics and combine it with a little bit of weights. I try to defy gravity, swing on some bars, while also maintaining good physique. Well, try to do a front lever, it's fucking hard. Luckily, the great people in this industry, like I talked about, were also here. And they said, hey, we do not give a single fuck about how many kilograms you can press, dumbbell curl, shoulder raise, we don't give a fuck. But uh, 24 kilograms is plenty enough of weight to do stuff. Great work, people. Great work. Okay, now you know all of that about the dumbbell. That's out of the way. The question remains, are these fellas worth it or not? No, no, no. Okay, they're dumbbells. But you can change the weight really easy by just spinning the wheel. From two kilograms up to 24 kilograms per dumbbell. And his big brother from two kilograms up to 41 kilograms per dumbbell. That, that's pretty cool. But now the question is, how easy can you use it? By spinning these wheels, you change them, and it goes very smoothly. One little thing I should not forget to mention that is pretty important for a dumbbell. 
The grip. How's the grip? It's a decent grip, it fits pretty good in your hand. However, it's a little rubbery and not every single dumbbell has a rubber grip, so you may be used to something different, maybe steel, maybe something else. So you need to get used to that a little bit, but I, I found it pretty easy to get used to. But there are better grips out there. It's it's fine. Okay, this is uh this is 24 kilograms. Dumbbell size 24 kilograms, pretty decent. This this is three kilograms. And I think you can see the problem. Pr problem, 24 kilogram and three kilogram are the same size. So when you're doing your three kilogram dumbbell curls, they're the exact same size as when you're doing them with 20, 24, 15, whatever your weight is. I don't really mind, but I, I do prefer when I'm doing something with 10 kilograms, 15 kilograms, a little smaller. But I must say I've used it for the past couple of months and it was pretty doable, really doable. When you're doing seated twist curls, that's gonna be a little problem because you know you, ne you need to make a little a big twist. It's 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 okay. Is this is this in the middle? To get back to the system, let's say you're doing your three kilogram dumbbell <laughs> curls and you're doing drop sets. It's it's really easy. Two kilograms and boom, curl it out, people, curl it out. So should you get these or others? What are your options? You can also obviously go for regular dumbbells. This one dumbbell that is now two kilograms is also worth everything up to 24 kilograms. Two, three, four, five, that's a lot of dumbbells. However, you don't need all of them, of course. If you would have bought them individually, you would have never bought everything up to 24 kilograms. I mean, if you want to improve and progress, you won't need every two, so starting from eight, so 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. That will be a decent dumbbell set, I think. And that's gonna be expensive. That's something. But also, the space. This is a lot easier, it takes up a lot less space. And the stand is pretty cool. They also got this, known everywhere as the starter's kit. Dumbbell set, 10 kilograms. Dumbbell set, 20 kilograms. These are great for starters. But once you're used to those, you're saying nah. But again, for starters who don't know how serious they're gonna take it, this is great. Another option would be another smart dumbbell. If I'm correct, in the previous video, you guys suggested power blocks and smart dumbbells from another brand. Uh, those were also an option for me in the exact same store. And that was pure personal preferences because I, I like this system a lot. These look dope. I know the others were a little less for me and apparently the other smart dumbbells smart bells that sounds disgusting the others are a lot more expensive Appar apparently so that's just the way to shit ever these are 2.99 walmart here 700 600 i forgot and so are the other smart bells still sounds disgusting but in the us the other smart bells still disgusting are a lot more expensive i don't get it i don't get it C conclusion are they worth it or not for $2.99 on Walmart, that's that's insane. I don't even, I don't, in my opinion, that, that's even underpriced. Why did they not sell out yet? $299 for these things? Yes. Here in the Netherlands and probably everywhere in Europe, they're a little more expensive. And I would say wait on a discount. Because you know, they have been awesome for the past couple of months and I actually couldn't, I couldn't live without them. They, they've helped me a lot, I've used them a lot and, and they're just easy to use. But yes, they're awesome. Ooh, oof, talking about a discount. Okay, so I reached out to the guy who sells these dumbbells. By the way, I keep saying guy, it's a nice gentleman. And he was cool with it and cool enough to make it a little bit more personal and introduce himself. My name is Paul van der Hoeve. I'm the owner of Fitwinkel Naaldwijk. Uh, you're more than welcome to come, feel, uh, see and touch all the different kind of uh, uh, challenges, uh, buy in store, not online. See you. So we talked a little about the, about the price situation, and, and, and yes, luckily he agreed to a discount, a deal, a sale, whatever you want to call it. So if you're interested, you live in the Netherlands, Belgium, maybe Germany, make sure to email to this email. I'll leave it in the screen for a little bit so you can read it. Just say, hey, I'm interested in this product or this product. Yes, that's correct. It also applies to the pull -up bar. You guys have been asking me about this pull -up bar for ages. I'm not sure how long this discount will last. He doesn't really like giving discounts. He's not a fan of that. So use it while you can. I love you back. Yes, 
I'm wearing this shirt on purpose because the last time I wore this too. Funny, isn't it? Funny. Got him. Kom maar gewoon kijken, het is een prachtige winkel en uh, hij is al hard bezig. Oh, 